So we want this blue cylinder to follow along each cylinder. Once it hits the next one, it needs to attach to that one. So let's go up here to edit preferences and go to add-ons and we want to search for dynamic and then you can see we have animation dynamic parent and I'm going to make sure to actually link this add-on in the description so you guys can download it yourself it's a completely free add-on so I'll just hit the plus button to add that in there and you can see it'll be added to our side panel here so this makes the process really really easy so all we need to do for this is first select our main cylinder here and then select the blue cylinder. And then under the dynamic parent menu here, we're just gonna hit create. And it's going to add this new constraint for us. And you can see it's now attached to it. So what's great about this add-on is that it's still working with Blender's constraints. It's just doing all the influence turning off and turning back on and stacking your constraints for us. So all we have to do is hit one button and then this add-on worries about actually adding the keyframes for switching things on and off. So let's actually show that here. Let's go to frame 23 where we were before and all we need to do now is just hit this disable button and you can see it's added the keyframes for us and it's adjusted the influence value. It made sure that we kept our actual transformations where the cylinder is at when we need it disabled. So now you can see it just follows along at frame 23 the constraint is disabled. And then we wanna select the middle cylinder, shift select the blue cylinder, and then we'll hit create. And it's gonna stack a new constraint there for us. And then it's gonna follow along at frame 23. And then we'll just do that again for this last cylinder. So you can see how quickly we're able to set up these constraints. It's much faster than just having to manually animate all the influences on and off and then stacking your constraints. So you can see it kind of moves through the mesh. So we'll just say around 65 is fine. So we'll go ahead and disable. All right, and then at frame 65, we want to enable a new constraint for this last cylinder. So we're gonna select the main drum here, shift select the blue cylinder, hit create. And again, it's stacking everything for us. It's adding the keyframes we need for when we want to disable it and enable it. And it's that easy. And we can just see this playing through here. So you can see how much faster it is to use this dynamic parent option if you're working with any type of constraints, 